Hi, and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel, we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey, and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today, we're going to be doing a reading for Taurus. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Taurian. And I'm being drawn to use the Moonology deck to start off today. So we'll see what messages we have from Taurus from the Moonology deck. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody. Take what fits and leave the rest. And absolutely check out your other sign placements as well. If you don't know what those are, go to a website such as astro.com, plug in your birth information, and a chart will be generated for you. Taurus. All right, first card, com card coming out. Communication is key. And then we have it's time to take action and take time to breathe out, which is an interesting combination together. So this is a conversation that needs to happen. A conversation that needs to happen. It's time to take action around something. There's, there's, there's something that you need to communicate. And perhaps you've been holding off on communicating it for whatever reason and sort of dragging your feet. Maybe it's an uncomfortable conversation that you don't want to have. Maybe it's going to, there's going to be possibly some repercussion from that that you're not necessarily wanting to deal with. I mean, Taurus is a sign that really enjoys stability, security, kind of knowing what's going to happen next. And so it's sort of like in this situation, I'm feeling you're kind of holding your tongue in a way because you're not quite sure how things will shake out if you do say whatever it is that you need to say. And Taurus, this isn't typically a very Taurian energy. Taurus tends to, in general, right, be a sign who speaks their mind, right, pretty well. And so whatever this is, there is definitely, it's it makes you a little nervous. Whatever it is that you have to say, whoever it is that you have to say it to, it is, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's making, it's making you a little nervous. And that's where this take time to breathe out comes in, right? It's like, calm yourself, center yourself, right? Don't get yourself all worked up. I feel as though Taurus is getting really worked up over something or someone, knowing that they have to take action in a situation and that there's a conversation that has to happen that's part of this action, right? But kind of in this space of not really knowing not just not wanting to do it, just not wanting to do it and getting really stressed out thinking about all the possible scenarios. And so it's like, instead of sitting back and thinking about everything that could go wrong, just, just start taking some action because you're going to drive yourself crazy. Okay. If you don't, if you don't, uh, if you don't do something here, what do we have next? Hold your vision. So there is an intended outcome that you have for whatever the situation is that you're needing to take action on, whatever this conversation is that you have to have. You have an intended vision. So it's saying hold that vision, right? Take take some time, breathe. Don't get yourself too worked up, right? Uh, and, and hold the vision, hold the clear intention of what it is that you want, to, what it is that you ultimately want, right? And this is, when we talk about what we ultimately want, it's not even necessarily, what do I want out of this specific situation or scenario? What do I ultimately want, right? We say that, we, we, we hold that vision of what we ultimately want at the end of the day in our lives, right? And then we take that time to breathe out. We take that time to relax. We surrender it. And then we take the action that we need to take. We speak the things that we need to speak, and we move forward from there. All right. And we have a new romantic cycle begins. And so for some of you guys, this does have to do with a romantic partner. There's somebody that you're needing to have a conversation with. You're needing to communicate with. There's something that you're needing to, to take action on, possibly, you that you're wanting to communicate to somebody, and you're not... You're just not really sure how to go about it or what it is to do. But there is a new cycle. There is a new romantic cycle approaching. So it's like, <laughs> you just got to do it. You just got to do it. Stop. Stop tiptoeing around the issue, whatever it is. Speak about it. Speak about it. Be, be your, 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 your normal, honest self, right? 
and just hold the vision for what it is that you want, what it is. If it comes to this new romantic cycle, what do you want that to look like, right? And then say what it is that you need to say. Take the action that you need to take, whatever that is, right? And then, and then allow this new cycle to take hold and bring in whatever it's meant to bring in. If you hold that vision for what it is you want and you speak your truth, right? Some of this is around speaking your truth, I think. If you speak your truth, right? You bite the bullet, you do it anyway. You hold the vision for what it is that you want in this season of your life, right? Either that person is going to give it to you or they're not. And then you're able to move on from there. And one way or another, a new cycle begins. All right. Let's see. I'm going to pull some tarot for you guys now. Clear. Let's get some more information on this situation. Let's get some more information on this situation here. All right. So we got the seven of wands. All right, so this is the energy of kind of feeling like you're defending yourself against a whole bunch of different people. And the two of wands, which is setting intentions again, right? That's the vision. I feel like you're setting your intent. You have an intention that you're setting again. You feel like it's like all of the odds are against you almost, which is really interesting. And then we have the nine of pentacles, which is the single and thriving. And so for some of you, this may not, you may not be in a relationship right now, right? You may be independent and they're independent and on your own. And it's interesting because I see in this card, it's like he's off looking one direction and she's off looking the other direction and she's holding the bird and he's holding the, he's holding the world or the ball. Which is really interesting. Interesting energy. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're single right now. And so if this is, if this is around your love life, if this is a romantic situation, uh, you have your eye on somebody. But you're not making any moves. You're setting intention and then you're just kind of waiting. You're just kind of waiting. You feel like whatever it is that you want, like the odds are very stacked against you. And it's almost like, and I always, we always say on here, right? The impossible is possible. Believe in the impossible. But I feel like for some of you guys, you feel like it is impossible. And so you're just not speaking anything and you're not saying anything. And then we have strength coming out with the nine of swords. <coughs> So this is like the need to overcome the mental energy, the mental fuckery, basically. It's like you guys are all in your heads. You're all in your heads. And what you're needing to do is tame that beast inside of you, right? That beast is your mind to really to overcome that internal struggle. That's what you need to do to overcome this internal struggle. And then we have the sun, right? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is absolutely everything you could ever want and need, right? Right? Some people associate the sun with the Leo card and strength actually represents Leo too. So for some of you guys, this could be a Leo that you're dealing with. But it's like you can have absolutely everything that you wanted. It's looking like if you were able to just overcome this, this fear, right? This, this, this paralyzing fear and inertia. Let's see what else. Hmm. And we have the judgment and the three of swords. And so that's interesting. And so for some of you guys, this is a wake up call in the form of a heartbreak. And for some of you guys, you've already had this. For some of you guys, maybe this is what you're afraid of, right? You don't want this to happen again. This has happened to you probably, I mean, more than once. Or there's a significant, there was a significant heartbreak that maybe you're maybe you're still still healing from I don't know Yeah for some of you guys I feel like this is this is energy coming in I hate to say that but I do feel like this is possibly energy coming in this this heartbreak which this sense of betrayal which is going to wake you up and force you to act if you haven't acted yet. And so I don't know. 
That's interesting. Give me some more on that. And then we have the three of cups. All right, so this is definitely third party energy when we have these together. Most definite, definite third party energy. So, yeah, if you're single, this is something, this is something that you went through. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, this is, so, this is definitely something that you went through. I don't know if this has to do with the same person, like this person that you're, that you're wanting to communicate with. There's this energy, this energy that kind of forced you into this place of action in the past, or if this is energy that's going to force you into action this time around. I don't know. This is, huh, very intriguing, very intriguing. Is this old or new? What is this? Let's get some more. Okay. Those kind of fell out. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. We'll see if those, those come out in a regular shuffle. I'm really, I'm sorry. I'm trying to put this together for you guys. It's sort of like, uh, try like the way that all like this new information here. Maybe you found out about something. Maybe you found out about a, a third party situation that happened. And that's what you need to communicate about. Yeah, maybe for some of you guys, this is like something that you find out about and that's what makes you single. Maybe you're not single right now, but you are about to be because you find out about this and it's and then you have to you have to act right. That forces some action, right? That could be that could be one indicator of what this energy is. And then it moves you into this place of being single. For some of you guys, you are single because of this energy. So for some of you guys, this is an energy that's about to happen. And for some of you guys, this is past energy that really that and that you're that you're not wanting to repeat. And that's part of the reason why you're you're being so quiet. Either it was past energy with this person. And even though you are still thinking about them, you don't want to go back into that energy or it's past energy with somebody else. And you're worried that that's going to happen with this person. So there's a there's a bunch of different scenarios or possibilities here. Then we have the Knight of Wands. So that is so the Knight of Wands and the Tower. Okay, yeah. So this is energy that comes in hot and heavy. This is fire energy. So the, the possibility of this being a Leo is very great, but it could be any sign. Somebody who has that Leo energy, though. Somebody who's charismatic. Someone who's fiery. Somebody who is, like, super... Uh, almost like that grandiose kind of energy. Like he comes riding in. It's like he comes riding in and blows everything up with this tower energy, right? And so, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely the energy of someone who's coming in hot and heavy. And there is there is some sort of there's some there's a huge wake up call or epiphany that happens here as a result of. Of this situation. I'm just trying to figure out if this is past or current energy and I'm getting really confused here. And then we have the devil coming out and falling right on top of that. All right. So this is like some, this is some serious shadow energy. This is some, like, it's almost like, I feel like you're addicted to this person. Like you are addicted or you were addicted to this person. There was a whole lot of, of crazy stuff that went on, that went on or is about to go on with this person. And then we have uh, we have the Ace of Wands, which is the Ace of Wands is a new passionate new start, right? With the High Priestess, who is the Keeper of the Secrets. So it's almost like the High Priestess is somehow involved. There's a lot of that's 
I'm gonna I, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call I'm gonna call her out and say possibly she's part of the reason this is getting so confusing is because she was uh there was a lot that she wasn't that she was revealing in the time that she wanted to reveal it and it was kind of like boom 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 right like oh let's blow some shit up okay that wasn't enough let's blow some more shit up and just this crazy process of that kind of energy and then we have the star on the bottom of the deck which is healing right so i feel like there's healing that's going to come to this situation one way or another yeah yeah, so I <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is, yeah. The way I'm putting this together now, it's like it almost feels like this was a person that this situation, either this situation is about to happen or this situation already happened. And either way, now there's like, for some reason, there's this desire for communication. There's this desire for action and to, to, to say some things, right? To, to, to clear the air, to say, to say some things. And there's going to be healing that comes from that conversation. This is feeling a lot like the Aries reading, actually, which is interesting, except a little bit more Maybe a, a little bit more dramatic than the than the Aries reason, but there is, yeah, a lot a lot of crazy shit that went down, and there's a there's a conversation that really wants to happen. That's what I'm gonna say is there's a conversation that really wants to happen, but there is one or more parties that are really kind of in their heads about having this conversation. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go with this. I, thank you guys for bearing with me. This is very... And then we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. The Moon, yep, we'll take that. That energy feels right on point. Illusion, confusion, um, the subconscious. This is that vacillating energy of going back and forth. Do I say it? Do I not? Do I step forward? Do I not? Do I even understand? It's like the high priestess and the moon energy here. There's a lot of mysterious energy. A lot of things that maybe weren't fully known or understood. And maybe still aren't. Maybe that's part of why this conversation needs to happen. To have some more clarity. I don't know, you guys. Then we have the five of swords, right? So this is like a conflict and controversy. But in this it's card, the way I'm feeling it right now, it's kind of like he's he's won. He's won the fight, whatever it was, whatever this battle was, he has won it. He is feeling victorious. That's the energy that I get from that. Somebody has been fighting some serious battles, some serious battles with their own minds, some serious battles with other people. I mean, it may have felt that this energy in general may have felt like a battle in in many in many different ways and respects. There's definitely a lot of passionate energy here. And we have the four of wands upside down on the bottom of the deck. So that's interesting. That would be like the the uh, the union energy. Right. And then we have the nine of cups coming up. Complete wish fulfillment. That's like the genie in the bottle. All right. And the hermit on the bottom of the deck. And so that's Virgo energy, but that's like a spiritual awakening. Um, interesting. Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Walking away. Walking away, but holding on too tightly at the same time. Yeah. Possibly some harsh words exchanged, right? The Queen of Swords is that cutting energy. That, uh, that sort of almost brutal energy sort of brutally honest energy walking away and holding on too tight at the same time and then we have the wheel of four of fortune this is destined and faded events right this is also the wheel turning the turning of the wheel the blessings i'm feeling that of course it landed right on top of this card so there's really good energy even though there's a lot of of like i don't want to say dark but a lot of difficult energy here, a lot of maybe even shocking energy. There's like really good energy coming through too. So it's really interesting. I feel like whatever this situation was, if you guys can just have the conversation, like a true, real, open and honest conversation, then you may be able to, something really good might come out, come out of it. 
we have the seven of pentacles with the magician, right? So this is like working really hard at manifesting something, I feel like. And then the king of wands, right? So this is that fire energy again, right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. But it's also the energy of, like with, with the king of wands and the magician, this is like super, super manifesting energy, you guys, right? It's like putting in all that work, evaluating the results, and then being at that point of deciding, like, what is it that I want to manifest? What is it that I want to create? And there is, and it's passion. I want to manifest passion. Something, right? It's that, where is that? The ace of wands, right? This new beginning, this, 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 uh, this new passionate beginning. And we have the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck, which is like an offer of love, right? Which is interesting. We have the six of pentacles, which is reciprocity. We have the four of pentacles. I mean, <laughs> I'm probably going to end up pulling out the whole deck if I keep going with this, guys. I'm just so like... Yeah. Really looking for that even give and take and <clears throat> being unsatisfied. That's an energy that I'm feeling coming through. Looking for that even give and take, looking for that reciprocity, uh, being possibly unsatisfied. And then we have the Hierophant, so this is your energy coming through. So that's the, that can be the energy of marriage and commitment. It's also the energy of like uh, higher spiritual learning. And then the Page of Cups, which is like also an apology, an offer of love, communication, right? Hmm. Yeah. So all I can say for you guys, and now we have justice on the bottom of the deck, is that there needs to, some communication needs to happen, right? Right. I feel like you wanted this from each other in the past. Maybe you wanted this. Maybe you have this. You're in this situation right now where you want this from somebody else and you're not receiving it from that person either. Uh, or you, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like you guys, one, maybe both of you are in a, in a situation right now and that situation is not fulfilling either, right? It's not giving you what you need, whether it's you want commitment and you're not getting the commitment. You want excitement and you're not getting the excitement, right? You want that even give and take and you're not getting that even give and take, whatever it is. You want justice. You want, you want um, fairness. You want equality. I'm feeling that. And then the world. This is the end of a cycle. There is a major cycle ending here. And I feel as though there's another cycle trying to begin. But that cycle, the cycle can't end and this next cycle can't begin without that communication. So be bold and make the first move, right? Like don't sit and wait. <clears throat> I feel almost like you're, whoever is involved in this situation, you guys are just sitting and waiting for the other person to do something and neither one of you is doing anything. So it's like a stalemate. And so you need to break out of that stalemate because if you do, there's like incredible. Then we have the emperor, right? That's that take charge energy. That's that big dick energy right there. That's what we need. That's what is needed to move this situation forward is for somebody to have that energy. And yeah, I mean, for somebody to have that energy to come out of this slow, 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 slow moving energy here, right? And even if the conversation gets a little heated, right? That's fine. That passion is really what you guys are looking for. All right. So like, go ahead and have that conversation. Go ahead and do what it is that you need to do. Ace of Cups with the Chariot. And the Fool here. New beginnings. I'm done. Okay. That's, that's a wrap. Just, just do what, do what needs to be done. Somebody, somebody needs to make the first move here. That's, 
That's, I think that's going to be the title of this video because that is the honest to God truth about this situation. I love you guys so very, very much. I appreciate you so very, very much. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe so you can catch more videos, click the bell with the little squigglies. I do all different types of videos on this channel. I do daily ascension uh, energy readings. I do readings on all the major astrological events, the new moons, the full moons, other random stuff in between. I would love for you to, to join this community. You know, um, if you like the vibe, then join the tribe. I also have links down below to donate if you want to donate to my channel and you feel so inclined to do so. It is very much appreciated. I offer personal readings, energy healings, all kinds of amazing stuff. That is in the description box below as well. So check that out if you are interested. I love you, Taurus. I am a Taurus son. Taurus cusping on Gemini. All right. So like doing this reading for you guys, anything I say to you guys, I am also saying to myself. So do not... I sometimes I'm a little bit blunt with the way I say things, but it's we're Tauruses. We need that bluntness, right? So I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm just saying that to let you guys know how much I do love and ap appreciate you and like understand that energy, that stalemate. It's like Taurus, we're stubborn, right? There's that stubborn energy coming through, whether it's like I'm not making the first move. I'm not taking the action. You do that shit. You know, it's like I almost feel like that energy coming on, too. And it's sort of like there is nervousness. There is that nervousness. And so like what does Taurus do when Taurus gets nervous? Taurus turns that energy around and gets a little bit of belligerent, right? And gets a little bit kind of digs their heels in a little bit. So there might be a little bit of that going on as well, you know, but it's it's just just absolutely. If you if you take that chance, if you if you speak what's truly in your heart, like I can see only good things coming from that. All right. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing November.